When Pakatan Harapan won the 14th general election, Sivarasa Rasya did not expect to be chosen as the Deputy Rural and Regional Development Minister for the new government. But when the offer came, the former lawyer did not hesitate to accept the position. Although some people believed that he should have been given the legal portfolio due to his background, Sivarasa said many issues in his ministry were close to his heart. The last um, five months has been here from Putrajaya has been very interesting. I, I'm very positive about it. I think there's a lot of interesting challenges awaiting us. And now the, now the challenge, instead of thinking about how I'm going to argue a case, I, my, my brain is focused on how do I deliver you know, uh, electricity to this kampung? How, how do I deliver? And not only infra. Working alongside his minister, Dato Sri Rina Mohammad Harun, their main tasks include improving the poverty issue in the country. Uh, rural poverty is still five times more than urban poverty. The Pakatan Harapan has a mandate for the next four to five years to do the promises that we have made uh, in our manifesto. For me, in our work as in the rural development, identifying the, the real poor in the rural areas and then doing what we can to help lift them out of that poverty, I think that's important. And the other part, and this is connected to lifting people out of poverty, is also lifting incomes. You know, and lifting incomes is applies to a bigger group. Those helping them become uh, small entrepreneurs, increasing their incomes. Many of them are doing what we call subsistence living. Okay. They have land and they are living off the land where they can, but it's not a, a fantastic income. It's just you're going from hand to mouth, like you're managing. So the challenge is then how do we lift them to a higher level of income? And that must be by helping them improve their use of the land or, or maybe becoming entrepreneurs, developing businesses from whatever they have there. Like in Sabah and Sarawak, uh, the, long, the people who live in long houses in the rural areas, they have land. So now it's a question of how we work together with the state government to maybe maximise the use of their land. Sivarasa is also focusing on improving the country's infrastructure. The, as I said earlier, the stark difference in uh, infrastructure development which we see between Sabah, Sarawak and Samananjong. So I think that is the, one of the key challenges over the next five years to try and make sure that we close it up, we close it up, or we narrow it as much as we can. Likewise also, it's not as if Sambananjong, all of Sambananjong is fine, no. There are parts of Kelantan, Terengganu, Pahang even, and even parts of Kedah which have really been kind of neglected. We need to, we need to correct the, the imbalance. It's not fair to leave, I think every, every Malaysian citizen is entitled to have a fair share of the wealth of the country. And I think this government has now uh, make the previous imbalance corrected. You know. Another issue concerning Sivarasa is the plight of the Orang Asli, particularly their standoffs with the logging and agricultural companies over native customary land. Although Orang Asli affairs have been moved out of the ministry to the purview of Unity Minister P. Weta Muti, Sivarasa thinks one of the solutions is the surveying of the Orang Asli's native customary land. This will be something that has to be discussed at cabinet level. And it is going to, it has, it will involve a number of ministries. Uh, Dr. Xavier's ministry will be involved, Yobian's ministry should also be involved. It should be a kind of collective thing. But having looked at the problem for the last three, four months here, in this uh, ministry, my view is that that is the way forward, yeah. Establishing the, the boundaries of Tanada is fundamental. Uh, we have enough court cases now in court which honestly have won to start to help us in that process. But state governments are not going to be are not going to gazette huge amounts of land so easily, unless they also offer the carrot. And uh, I think they have you know they have a point there. So it's got to be a, a, a solution based on all these elements, gazetting the land plus some element of compensation for the state. For the state yeah, yeah. Okay. But of course now it will be up to the other ministers. Yeah.